Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss the following question which says that evaluate a limit 1 minus cosec of x into sec of x as x tends to pi by 2 b limit 1 by 2 minus x into sec of pi x as x tends to 1 by 2 L. Hopital's rule states that if f of x and g of x are functions such that f of a is equal to 0 and g of a is equal to 0 then limit f of x by g of x as x tends to a is equal to limit f dash of x by g dash of x as x tends to a with this key idea we shall proceed with the solution we are to find the value of the expression limit 1 minus cosec of x into sec of x as x tends to pi by 2. Now if we put the value of x as pi by 2 in this expression, we get 1 minus cosec of pi by 2 into sec of pi by 2. Cosec of pi by 2 is 1, therefore it becomes 1 minus 1 that is 0 into sec of pi by 2 is undefined. Therefore it takes 0 into infinity form and this can also be written as limit 1 minus cosec of x into sec of x can be written as 1 upon cos of x as x tends to pi by 2 now again if we put the value of x as pi by 2, the expression becomes 1 minus cosec of pi by 2 upon cos of pi by 2. Since cosec of pi by 2 is 1, therefore the numerator becomes 1 minus 1 that is 0 and in the denominator we have cos of pi by 2 which is 0. So this is of 0 by 0 form. And according to L. Hopital's rule we have if f of x and g of x are functions such that f of a is equal to 0 and g of a is 0 then limit f of x upon g of x as x tends to a is equal to the limit f dash of x upon g dash of x as x tends to a. Therefore, applying the L. Hopital's rule we have limit differential of the numerator with respect to x that is differential of 1 minus cosec of x with respect to x we have differential of 1 with respect to x is 0 minus of differential of cosec of x with respect to x is minus of cot of x into cosec of x upon differential of cos of x with respect to x that is minus of sin of x as x tends to pi by 2 and this can be written as limit cot of x into cosec of x by minus of sin of x as x tends to pi by 2. Now if we put the value of x as pi by 2 in this expression, it becomes cot of pi by 2 into cosec of pi by 2 whole upon minus of sin of pi by 2 
विच इज इक्वल टू कॉट ऑफ पाई बाय टू इज जीरो इन टू कोटेक ऑफ पाई बाय टू इज वन अपॉन माइनस ऑफ साइन ऑफ पाई बाय टू विच इज वन दिस इज इक्वल टू जीरो अपॉन माइनस वन दैट इज जीरो देर फोर द वैल्यू ऑफ द एक्सप्रेशन लिमिट ऑफ वन माइनस को सेक ऑफ एक्स इन टू सेक ऑफ एक्स एज एक्स टेंस टू फाइव बाय टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो विच इज द रिक्वायर्ड आंसर नाउ वी शेल फाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ द एक्सप्रेशन लिमिट वन बाय टू माइनस एक्स इन टू सेक ऑफ फाइव एक्स एज एक्स टेंस टू वन बाय टू Now, if we put the value of x as one by two in this expression, it becomes one by two minus of one by two into sec of pi by two. So we have one by two minus one by two, that is zero, into sec of pi by two, which is not defined. So this is of zero into infinity form, and this can also be written as limit. One by two minus of x. Sec of pi x can be written as one upon cos of pi x. As x tends to one by two. Now, if we put the value of x as one by two in this expression, it becomes one by two minus one by two, that is zero, upon cos of pi by two. That is also zero. So this is of zero by zero form, and according to L. Hopper's rule, we have if f of x and g of x are the two functions such that f of a is zero and g of a is zero, then limit f of x upon g of x as x tends to a is equal to limit f dash of x upon g dash of x. As x tends to a, therefore, applying L. Hopper's rule, we have limit differential of the numerator that is one by two minus x with respect to x that is minus one upon Differential of the denominator with respect to x, that is, differential of cos of pi x with respect to x, which is minus of sine of pi x into differential of pi x with respect to x, that is pi, as x tends to one by two, and this can be written as limit one upon pi into Sine of pi x as x tends to one by two. Now putting the value of x as one by two in the expression, we get one upon pi into sine of pi by two, which is equal to one upon pi into sine of pi by two is one. That is one upon pi. Therefore. The value of the expression limit one by two minus x into sec of pi x as x tends to one by two is equal to one upon pi, which is the required answer. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.